Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Kyle and today I'm going to be going over an article on T-Fuel as well as checking in on the price action of T-Fuel and Theta. Are things going to continue to pump into the mainnet launch coming up in April? Let's get into it. Not just another gas token. Theta's T-Fuel surges 775% in five weeks. Theta fuel price has been on a triple digit rally since the beginning of February, a signal that the gas token will play an integral role in the rapidly expanding Theta ecosystem. The Theta project has been making waves alongside many other altcoins that are riding this year's bullish wave to new all-time highs. While the main token of the Theta network has been receiving a majority of the attention, the gas token of the protocol, T-Fuel, has quietly been surging alongside Theta as its importance to the network becomes apparent to savvy crypto investors. Theta Fuel was created when the Theta mainnet launched in 2019 and it is designed to be the operational token of the protocol powering on-chain operations like sending payments and deploying smart contracts. A significant difference between Theta and other dual token models is holders who stake Theta in validator and guardian nodes help to secure the network and earn T-Fuel as a reward. According to data from the Theta Explorer, close to 58% of the 1 billion available Theta are staked on the network as of March 10th, a figure that has been slowly increasing as the project attracts more attention. As more Theta is staked on the network, the role T-Fuel plays in the ecosystem increases as the token begins to be used more to interact with the community members and transfer value. Following the launch of Theta 3.0 on April 21st, token holders will be able to stake T-Fuel as another way to earn passive income and help secure the network. The upgrade will also include a new burning mechanism that is essentially a network fee for using the Theta Edge. This could eventually lead to further reductions in the supply of T-Fuel and increase its price. I really like that burning mechanism on the back end of T-Fuel because in the past I've seen a lot of staking coins come into the crypto space, master node coins, and the use case is just to stake and sell as passive income and it's always great in theory, always looks great on paper. But at the end of the day, if the use case is just to sell a coin, then it just drives the price of it down because buyers can't keep up to that over time. So it's nice to see that not only does T-Fuel have a pretty big use case within the Theta network itself, but that burning mechanism built into the back end is very encouraging. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what T-Fuel does over the years to come. And here we have T-Fuel up on the daily chart. And as you can see, since February 1st, that T-Fuel actually reached as high as 46 cents. That's 1,000. 258% since February 1st. So congratulations to all the T-Fuel hodlers out there that have caught this pump to the upside because what a wild ride this has been. And at the time of recording, uh, T-Fuel seems to want to do some consolidating here, which I think is overall very healthy and very bullish for T-Fuel to have a pause right now, have a little bit of a breather. And it's consolidating so far at a much higher level. And I don't see any heavy selling stepping in just yet. Very strong sign here. Uh, T Fuel has also offered up a new purple box liquid zone to be paying attention to that has a bottom side coming in around 39 cents and a top side coming in at approximately 46 cents. As you all know, that follow along with my technical analysis, I'll be looking for those daily candle body closures above the top side of that purple box liquid zone, followed by some support. I want to see it confirmed as support, and then I think T Fuel will be ready for its next rocket ship to the upside. Looking down below at all the major notable moving averages, I see that they're in a very beautiful bullish posturing as they begin to fan away from one another, gaining very aggressive slopes to the upside and the lower periods living above the higher periods here. And so long as T-Fuel continues to close these daily count of bodies up at these high levels, these moving averages are going to rise very, very quickly, which is awesome because I know over time, T-Fuel will no doubt test these moving averages and they'll likely play defense to the downside and likely be very instrumental in a potential by the dip scenario. And of of course, just like I mentioned in my last video, the three moving averages that I'll be paying very close attention to will be the 10 simple moving average, the yellow 21, and the orange 30 simple moving average. At the time of recording, that 10 is coming in around the 22 cent mark. The 21's coming in at approximately 19 cents, and the uh, the 30's coming in down around the 13 cent mark. But like I just said, so long as T Fuel can close these daily count of bodies up here, those will rise very, very quickly. So the higher they can get before they're tested, the better. So overall, this is looking fantastic. Uh, dropping down below to the uh, RSI, this is awesome as well because last time I made a video, I was talking about potential daily bearish divergence baking on the RSI. But remember, we always look for price action to confirm those divergences. We never front run those divergences. And this is a classic scenario because when I made that last video, I made it very clear that I was just holding on to my T-Fuel. I believe T-Fuel was around the 14 to 16 cent mark when I made that, that video. And of course, looking for price action to confirm those kinds of things is what keeps me in the trade and because price action never confirmed it i stayed right in and i'm still holding my t-fuel right now 
especially in a bull market as well. I mean, when things are as, as bullish as they are, you don't want to be front running these kinds of things. You'd, you'd be better off to front run a bearish divergence on a pullback than you would if you're to be that cavalier. Of course, I'm a more conservative trader as it's just what gives me the best results over time. But right now, the RSI did get pretty nuclear there, getting up around a 96 read and, uh, and is naturally pulling back to test the exponential moving average, which is now also in the exhausted zone. So all this is telling me right now is that consolidation is likely the next thing for T-Fuel. Does it have to be that way? No, technical analysis isn't a crystal ball. I use this to develop actionable plans to manage my risk, to give me high probable setups so that I can at least have a plan when I'm investing my money. So I'm going to be paying attention to this. Uh, I'm going to be looking for a bullish reset during the uh, during the consolidation if T-Fuel continues to play that out. And of course, we're going to have to pay attention to what happens on Monday. Bitcoin's having a nice little push to the upside today. So we're going to want to see some follow through on that and see the bullish conditions continue you and I do tend to think that they will drop down below to the stochastics momentum down no big deal I mean after this massive move to the upside I mean what do you expect uh, down below here on the uh, MACD MACD is still absolutely just parabolic right now and uh, continues to print this massive island of positive momentum so all the oscillators uh, are looking fine to me right now we've got the RSI down we have the stochastics down MACD will likely round out and like I said, just looks like consolidation to me. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. Of course, I'm going to be watching that 10. I have no idea where that 10 will be living when uh, T Fuel decides to test it, but uh, that'll be interesting to see. Daily candle uh, body closures below that 10, then a likely test of the 21. And then, of course, if the daily candle body closes below the 21, when that time comes, I'll be looking to that 30 as a, as a potential buy the dip opportunity. But we'll just have to see what happens. But overall, looking good. Congratulations, all yet T Fuel bulls. Theta up on the daily chart. Toggling into the price section, I see Theta is experiencing a little bit of a pullback as well, which is totally healthy, totally normal, totally constructive after a nice push to the upside. Uh, Theta has also given us a new purple box liquid zone to pay attention to, which has a bottom side coming in at approximately $7 and a top side coming in at approximately $8. I can see the 10, 21, and 30 are now all living above the former liquid zone found down below, which is a fantastic sign if Theta continues to do its uh, consolidating here. Again, those, those moving averages are going to be very notable as uh, price action contracts here and uh, going to be looking for that bullish reaccumulation as things are just absolutely... Um, in a bull trend for Theta, and they have been for quite some time. Theta's had one of the better looking charts in cryptocurrency for quite some time. Dropping down below to the RSI, the RSI is uh, simply rolling over out of the exhausted zone, back in the bullish control zone, and looking like a test of the exponential moving averages is, is likely, likely going to happen sometime here soon. The exponential moving average still has a positive slope, and it is notable that it is in the bullish control zone. So let's look for a test of that, and then a potential another thrust back to the upside. It will be interesting to see what happens when those two come into contact with one another. Dropping down below the stochastics, momentum down, not a big deal as things cool off here. After this beautiful rise to the upside, MACD uh, flashing a little bit of loss of momentum here on the histogram, and uh, the, but the moving averages are still quite parabolic, well into the bullish territory. So things overall here looking really good. Uh, as Theta continues to pull it itself back here, I'm going to be paying attention to that 10 simple moving average, which is coming in, at least at the time of recording, at $5.42. 21's coming in at $4.77 approximately. And then that 30 is living in perfect confluence of the uh, almost perfect confluence with the uh, former liquid zone down below here, coming in at approximately $4. So those will be the moving averages that I pay attention to as uh, consolidation begins to happen here. Now, if Theta continues to push to the upside, I'm going to be looking for a daily candle body closure above the top side of that liquid zone at $8 as my confirmation. And of course, confirming that as support. And then perhaps Theta just continues to rip into its main that launch uh, in April, which uh, wouldn't surprise me actually. So things are looking really good here for Theta as well. So thank you so much everybody for coming by and checking out this video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all getting some real sweet gains off these moves that are taking place here. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And until I do, have yourselves a powerful day.